Hey, hey, planner friends, it's Hope with Hope's Plans. Hope everyone is doing well today and thank you for stopping by. So, I figured I would bring you along in my chaos that I have going on in 2023. Look at this mess. So, I figured I would just start by coming on and... telling you what's going on I guess so uh, I see everybody else talking about how the new year is starting well not new year but new planners are coming out and how things have been changed up and what they're doing so I just thought I would come in and tell you about me so this was how I started I love stologies they are my absolutely favorite so I did let's see I started this stology a5 stology in Let's see, when did this start? January 1st. And I thought for sure I was going to be in this for at least six months. I made it until, let's see. Looks like I might have set up April. Did some things. Wrote out some things. And that was it. And that is because I ordered the Sterling Ink Common Planner at that point. I ordered it in January when it was released and I got it in March. And I thought this planner, the Sterling Ink B6, was going to be the save my life. I was going to love it. Well, I didn't. I don't even think... I used it for one month. Uh, I just didn't like it. I discovered I am not a B6 girl. Okay. It's just not enough room for me. I, I just don't like it. B6 is not for me. However, I, let me retract that. So I thought I would go back into an A5, but I did find this planner on Amazon and I thought I would use it. It's undated A5 and let's see here. What does it give us? It gives us a monthly plan and then it gives goals and reflections for the month and idea page and then we go right into the week and then my main stuff. I thought, now this, this is going to help. I mean, I don't have to write nothing out. It's a bigger than the B6. It didn't last. It just didn't last neither. Let's see. When did I make it through this? What month? I'm pretty sure I probably didn't even get through one month. Okay, so this is March. I was trying it out. I didn't make it. So then I decided, okay, let me just go ahead and try B6 Stology. Let me see. And I forced myself to use this planner, B6 Stology. I forced myself to use it from April to, I used it till July. I did set up August, but then the Sterling Ink came out with the pre-order for the A5. Planner peeps, let me tell you. A5 is all me. It's just me. So I pitched this. And what I do, I just ordered the A5 Sterling Ink Planner. And that is what I am in currently. And let's just talk about this planner, shall we? So I have it in a Midori plastic cover. And this Sterling Ink is an undated A5 planner, so it's only a six-month planner. So let me to walk you through how I have it set up. I have it in a Midori plastic cover. I think it's Midori. I could be wrong, but hey, I usually am. And inside it, oh, the front clip is just a paper clip, make today count. And I believe I got this little freebie from Sterling Ink. It says thank you. Thank you for your purchase. 
it came in something who knows um my partner wrote me a little note so that's just stuck in here i bought these little sticky things from the daiso store in vegas they are so helpful i can stick hold up got this little washi sticker card from Sterling Inc. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Look at there. And I can always find it because it sticks out more than the page. It is so helpful. Anyways, moving on. Whew. Okay, so I did print the 2023 full calendar as well as the 2024 calendar. I just highlighted when my garbage comes and recycle. My garbage comes every Wednesday. That's not hard. However, my recycling comes every other week and I always forget that's why I have a planner, so don't forget. Um, okay, so anyways, um, these two pages, I'm going to do a quote here, I think. But right now, it's blank, obviously. And over on the right-hand side, I'm going to list out the notes pages, like an index. And I have it little tabbed here, so I can always find it. An index page, which I don't have very much written down at the moment. And then we go into two blank pages. This is the goal breakdown for personal finances, health, family, hopes, plans, and education. That's how I have mine broken up. And I haven't written anything in it because you guys are nosy. So I'm not ready to share that yet. I'll come back to that page, maybe. However, I do have it written out right here. I did separate this page. I'm pretty sure this is where you're supposed to write down your goals or your priorities. And then it's a vertical habit tracker or monthly page. I'm not really sure. But I wanted to take this information from the goals page and put it out on monthly. So I have personal, which is here, finances, health, family, hopes, plans, and education. So in the month of August, I want to figure out an evening skincare. I don't want to spend money on stupid shit i want to add a third day to the gym i want to go to lunch with my son and maybe dinner with my parents do an august cover which i've done i am so excited see my new august cover right here it is so pretty i love it anyway um so hey i could check that off while well, around here because it's been done look at there and then i want to learn one item for my embroidery machine so haven't done that yet but i'm planning on it because you'll see it in my september september um cover that's coming up so next we have my future log i just have january through december uh, nothing's come up yet so i haven't written anything in it hopefully it will I've got lots of vacation plans so then we go right into august so august i have just written the number one, which is for my, these are all my Daiso highlighters that I purchased. I have them numbered one through 10 and I just put down the number. These markers from the Daiso store are going to be primary in this planner. So I just have like um, birthdays, National Planner Day, school starts, when I have my grandson, any exciting things that are happening that I need to be aware of. The little green is payday. Pink or reddish is bills due. And that's pretty much all that's in here. I have my to-do list. So let's go ahead and just check off that. I cleaned the washing machine. I did the grill check. Did not clean the oven yet. I need to do those two things. So, I also have other items I'm checking off, such as when my parents go on vacation, my bills, and my income. So, there is that. See, there's my parents. They go on vacation. They'll be back tomorrow. Anyways, so that, and then over here on the right-hand side, I did put the highlighter of the month. So, when I'm going through my months i could just see the month so as you can see i have them all separated and that's how i plan on doing my monthly plans and i do have a top index or tab i'm going to go to my weekly i did do a tip in for this i just have a pencil board i made it isn't it lovely lovely anyways okay so whew, squirrel 
this is how my first week went in. This is my very first week in the A5 Sterling ink. It turned out so lovely. I don't like how I switched pens in the last half, but I did find my fountain pen that I was looking for, so that's why I'm using it. But it did turn out good. I mean, I, I truly enjoyed using this planner so far. And then here is next month, next week. I have it all set up. And once again, I love how it is color coded. I have my gym days. I have my little reminder here. I have a Weight Watchers meeting tomorrow afternoon. I have my grandson on Thursdays. And this is where I'll put my food log in my water tracker. At the very bottom of the daily and the weekly day page, I'm also indicating things that are happening. Whether well, if I spend money or something personal is happening, that's where I'm indicating that. And then we'll switch over to also on my weekly pages, I am highlighting as well. So all of August is that green. Oh my gosh, it is all yellow for the week, for the month of August. And then we jump into September, and then September will end up being blue. Nope, that's November. What is going on with me, girl? Come on. September will be gray. September, gray, gray. So that's how I'm working on my weekly pages. And then for the first, here's the notes. For the first couple pages for notes, I am using it as my budget. And you will be able to find the budget because it is highlighted. I don't care if y'all see my budget. I don't care. I'm not secretive. No, but my goal is yes. Budget, not so much. I don't care. Um, I have August in green down here because that's my budget. So every month will be in green. And then the month, the color of the month is will be here. So all of December. And I also did one page for Christmas gifts. So I save money every month for Christmas. And this will just be my Christmas budget. And then we go into my notes page. This is starting August 1st, Tuesday. And I just made random notes that I needed to know about. That cracks me up. Those sticky notes that I picked up from the Daiso store just cracked me up. Like, what exactly is he doing? Is he doing yoga? Is he, I don't even know. Is he exercising? Is he waiting for somebody? I, I don't know. Anyway, so it cracks me up. Um, so that's how I'm using my daily pages so far as just writing things down that I need to know. And then at the back of the page, I did do a grid spacing as well as a pen test. I think that's all I have in here. Yes, because in the middle, I have a folder that I have my trusty little ruler in. I have a zipper pouch and another folder. Well, the other side of the other folder. And then... Why aren't you staying in there? Um, at the beginning of the book, I do have my st 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 stology. And in my stology, I am calling this my common book for 23 and 24. Because I don't know if I'll use them, use all the pages in 2023. I'm just doing a index page. Index page. I have my annual goals that I have not set up yet because y'all are nosy and I'm not ready to share. But this here will be my annual goals. What I want to do for the rest of 2023 versus these goals over here are what I want to do someday, one day, someday, one year, half year, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily. This just breaks it all down. I plan on mind mapping each goal and then I'll be able to set it over here, try to figure out at the end of this goal, how do I get here? So that's my plan. And then I have my daily routine, which I haven't written down yet because I don't know what to do. Um, AM routine, PM routine. 
And then this is things I wanted to get done for August for Hope's Plans. And some YouTube videos that I would like to do. My skincare, which I'm trying to get better at. And then my August goals, which are here. I was trying to write it all out. And then they, uh, they were transferred over here. What else do we have? I am going to Dallas in October, so I'm just making some plans here. Here's a quote page. I was having a very bad day this day. So you are worth more. Don't give up. Do more than just exist. That's how I felt that day. I, I just couldn't. I just needed a pep talk. Um, and then I have some more ideas of things that went along with my pep talking and searching something or another. And that's all I have in my Stology as of right now. So that is how I plan on moving on from August to the rest of the year. Whew, that's a lot. So if you, if you stayed around to the end, I have a special surprise. I have tested three paper clips that will be coming out in October. And these paper clips sort of match my theme for my October cover. I have three paper clips that I would like to give away. These paper clips are a coffee cup, Starbucks cup, I'm not sure what you want to call it, but they are just, they turned out really good. It did take me two test times, but they turned out pretty good and I would like to share them with somebody. So leave me a comment below. The first three people to leave me a comment will get the paper clips and I will email you for your address. I hope you enjoyed this crazy video and I hope you stick around. Hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down, preferably up. The next video we will be discussing is the flip through of my B6 Stology. Thank you again, and I hope you have a great day, and take care, God bless, and keep on playing it.